In this video, we will talk about the different type of anxiety disorders that can occur in 22Q11 deletion syndrome. We will also talk about depressive disorders in 22Q11 deletion syndrome. Finally, we will talk about the available interventions that exist for anxiety disorders and depressive disorders. Anxiety disorders belong to the most common psychiatric problems seen in people with 22Q11 deletion syndrome, approximately 30%. And they occur across the whole lifespan, they occur more often in females, and they occur more often than in the general population. In children and adolescents, we particularly see specific phobia, social phobia, and separation anxiety disorders. Whereas in adults, we particularly see panic disorders. Other anxiety disorders like generalized anxiety disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder seem to occur at similar rates across all ages. Post-traumatic stress disorder has been rarely described in the literature yet. However, based on our own clinical observation, we assume that post-traumatic stress disorder may occur more often and may be frequently missed. Screening for any stressful life events is therefore necessary in all individuals with 22Q11 deletion syndrome. It is very important to recognize the presence of an anxiety disorder and also which type of anxiety disorder. Anxiety disorders are treatable, however, missing or undertreating them may increase the risk of the development of more severe future psychopathology later in life, including psychotic disorders. We see that anxiety as a symptom in 22Q11 deletion syndrome is very much characterized by anticipatory anxiety, which means constantly worrying about what might happen. So actually, we call people with 22Q11 deletion syndrome worriers. They're chronic worriers. High levels of peer victimization, hostile, close relationships, family conflicts, and emotional dysregulation are related to higher rates of anxiety disorders. And in addition, persisting anxiety may adversely affect cognitive performance, for example, executive function in children or memory in adults. In addition to anxiety disorders, mood disorders, particularly major depressive disorders, are commonly seen. And more so with increasing age occurring in up to 20 to 30 of people with 22Q11 deletion syndrome. Rates of bipolar disorder occur with similar frequencies as in the general population. Low IQ and adaptive functioning seem risk factors for depressive disorder. Recent studies have shown that people with 22Q11 deletion syndrome experience more negative emotions than people from the general population and perceive more stress. For them, the glass seems half empty instead of half full. They are not really cheerful people. Suicidal thoughts can occur as part of the clinical depressive picture as well, as feelings of low self-worth and difficulties accepting they are different than other peers. Sleeping problems, including insomnia and restless sleep patterns, occur more often in 22Q11 deletion syndrome than in their peers. Sometimes this can be related to excessive worrying about the next day, and this occurs more frequently than in their peers. When it comes to interventions, one should first look at potential environmental factors that may pre precipitate or perpetuate the depression or anxiety disorder. For example, has something happened? Did bullying occur at school? Has a close relative turned ill or died? Has there been any recent cognitive assessment to rule out cognitive deterioration? If so, then adjustment in the environment, so for example, uh, reduced daytime activities, need to be made. Standard guidelines for treatment of the specific anxiety disorder or depression should be followed, like in the general population which means non-pharmacological treatments are often first choice. Cognitive behavioral therapy are very effective treatments 
and have been used in people with 22Q11 deletion syndrome as well. However, the protocol needs to be adjusted to the level of intellectual ability. And the therapist needs to be familiar with people with intellectual disabilities. For people with post-traumatic stress disorder, EMDR is a very brief and effective treatment which has been used successfully in people with 22Q11 deletion syndrome as well. Pharmacological treatment with selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are considered safe and effective for both anxiety disorders and depression in people with 22Q11 deletion syndrome. They reduce ruminations, anxiety, and improve mood and even may preserve cognitive skills. They can be given during childhood, adolescence, and in adults. Given the increased prevalence of somatic comorbidities, extra monitoring of metabolic and cardiovascular symptoms is highly recommended. So in conclusion, affective disorders, which include depression and anxiety disorders, are common in 22Q11 deletion syndrome and should be treated in the same way like in people without 22Q11 deletion syndrome, taking into account the higher prevalence of somatic comorbidity. Compared to other psychiatric disorder in 22Q11 deletion syndrome, there have been fewer studies on these disorders and more studies and knowledge on prevalence, mechanism and interventions are highly needed. Thank you.